have been in at least probably 95% of the schools at least one time. New Jersey Child Assault Prevention Director of Operations Cheryl Mata told the Assembly Education Committee her organization has been going into schools across the state for more than 30 years to teach about prevention. On how to prevent peer assault or bullying, stranger abduction like trafficking, and known adult assault, which could be sexual, physical, or verbal. She says while there are willing schools and administrators that have embraced the program, there are also schools that have pushed back because their academic schedules are so full. You know, it's not always because they don't believe in the program, but it's just because they're feeling pressures outside also. But now a package of bills that unanimously passed in today's committee aims to highlight the importance of prevention education. Among other things, the bills would require child abuse and sexual abuse training for all candidates for teaching certifications require sexual abuse against a child to be reported to law enforcement, establish a task force within the Department of Education on prevention of sexual abuse of children, and require certain training for Department of Education arbitrators. Further additional training so they're better equipped when they are hearing these types of cases. Committee Chair Pamela Lampett says more needs to be done because nationally only 6% of children come forward when some sort of sexual abuse has happened in schools. We need to stop there with these predators. Too many of them develop these relationships with our young people just and purely as a friendship. Uh, then it moves on to maybe uh, social media, and then it moves on because they develop feelings for these children, and then they take it too far. Assemblywoman Serena Damaso commended the chair for her dedication on this issue. This is one of those issues that um, it's you would expect that there would be bipartisan support there. Everyone wants to protect our children. Moda says there's a whole generation of kids who have gone through school without learning they have the right to be safe, talk about assault, and get help. And I know you said you've been to about 95% of the schools once. Yes. With this new collection of bills, how many more times do you think you'll be able to reach those schools? I think it would be get getting 100% as our goal and also to go back to schools we haven't done in 10, 15 years. The package of bills now heads to the full assembly for a vote. It has already passed the full Senate. In Trenton, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.